Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. What's up? Oh, God. Jesus, that's a good way to start an episode, you know? Just... Hey, What's up? I want to... I want to move... Okay, in fairness, I probably shouldn't have asked the internet that. What are you drawing? I'm doing Rick and Morty today. Because... I'm not even mad. Let's do this. Yeah. Rick and Morty is, like, freaking amazing. And I can't handle this one-year hiatus, so... Eventually, it's not one year anymore. It's, like, six... Uh... Five months. It comes out in five months. So on the bright side, it's only a five month hiatus now. That's pretty good. Yeah. Please kill me. What is this even? Like, why? This is drunk Rick. You mean normal Rick? Yeah, normal Rick, but like exceedingly drunk Rick. Rick on Thanksgiving? Let's go with that, yeah. Oh man, we I need to start a conversation topic. I have no idea what a conversation topic to do. What's your favorite episode? Uh, my favorite episode is either the Meeseeks episode or um God, there's a lot. I like all of them. They're all pretty. Oh, good. the one in their, the one where they had to kill everyone. You mean the like one where they go to like they kill everyone in their dimension and then they go to the next Fuck. dimension? What did I do? What did I do? No, like um the the Mr. Poopy Butthole episode. Oh yeah, everyone likes that episode. That freaking was hilarious. That was like such a good episode. I loved it. Oh uh, yeah, dude. It was like if you haven't seen Rick and Morty yet, go see it. But. It's amazing. By the way, spoilers, because we're not... Does Rick drink... What type of alcohol does he drink? I think it's rum or vodka or, frankly, just some kind of... He's, he's skinnier than this. He's like a skinny bopinny. You know, I'm pretty sure it's rum because it's usually brown. I don't know that much about drinks. Maybe it's not... So, it's not confirmed that it's alcohol in Rick's satchel. Frick. What on earth do you think it could be? I don't know. Alien rub? So, alien alcohol. Yeah. yeah. Oh, do you remember that moment in the show where they literally just, like, yeah. Rick sends freaking Morty to go get him drugs, and then they come back, and he's like, you set me out in the middle of this terrible place to get drugs. Oh, yeah. That was pretty cool. You hear screaming? I hear screaming. Uh, yeah, so we have fucking kids who will just scream like they're dying sometimes. And, like, no one's dying, but they'll just scream. Are we recording? We are recording. Why do I... They'll just scream like they're dying sometimes. Like, it's just, like, they'll go ahead and it's like, oh, are you guys okay? And they're like, we're fine, but it's just like... I don't know. It kind of... It kind of sounds like somebody's dying. Yeah, they'll just do that sometimes, so, you know. Why? I don't know. There is a wide variety of jokes I can make here, but I can't because they're not as funny as they are offensive. It's like when you have an offensive joke, you have to make it more funny than it is offensive in order for it to actually be funny. Yeah, no. Um. Yeah, no, kids just scream all the time here. Just straight up. I hate your neighborhood. Yeah, I actually really like it. It's it's lively. I mean, you'll see, like, teenagers doing drugs or whatever, but, like... Where can you not find teenagers doing yeah, drugs? Yeah, you know? It's like, dude, I know where to buy drugs at my school, and I've never even tried. Yeah, it's like, you know, you'll find teenagers doing drugs, but... Other than that, you know, it's it's pretty great. I'm looking up references for Rick, because, you know... I don't know the exact shade of blue he wears. It's like a pale blue thing. How on earth did their hair get drawn? Because, like, if you look at their hair, it's like... I don't know. When it, After a while of watching the show, I noticed that their hair is not in front of their head. Their hair is never in front of the head. It's literally like they just draw a circle behind their head, and it gets really distracting after a while.
It's like none of them have hair on their faces or any or bangs or anything, so it's just like, oh, there is a circle behind my head that's the color of brown hair. And it kind of annoys me. Like, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. Well, it's just like... What the fuck, guys? Dude, you could have tried a bit harder. Mm-hmm. So, you want to complain about the uh, episode that... The Purge episode? Actually, you know what? It was, like, written in, like, 20 minutes, apparently. Like, it was made so that way... God, what did Rick's shoes look like? It was literally written in 20 minutes. Yeah, it was It was written in, like, 20 minutes. Yeah, I can see that. But it was still just kind of terrible. I mean, it wasn't their best, but, like... It was their worst. It was their worst episode. And their worst is still better than, like, 90% of people's best, so... Is it kind of like the episode The Great Divide from Avatar where it's like everybody is constantly hating on this episode but it's literally just because everybody it's literally just because it's the only episode of the show that's not that's not remotely perfect? Yeah. Avatar was a good show. Avatar was an amazing show. Legend of Korra was pretty terrible. Legend of Korra just it couldn't live up to Avatar Madeline, like Rebecca, I didn't even finish the first season. I did. It, it's just, it wasn't, I think the problem is they spent, I don't know, it wasn't that great. Like, I didn't even, like, do you know how much, I watched multiple seasons of The Wix Club and I didn't finish Legend of, the first season of Legend of Korra. Well, to be fair, you prefer comedy over drama any day. Like, your drama has to be, like, really good for you to notice it. Watch Jessica Jones. Everybody watch Jessica Jones. I could not... Yeah, but Jessica Jones is amazing. Oh, I got a keyboard, so that way I'm not poor anymore, you know. Dude, watch. But it's like, I've watched. Okay, yeah, I prefer comedy to drama, but The Wix Club is not a comedy show. It's really terrible. It's like. It is ungodly, horribly terrible. Like, the first episode is literally a fairy princess from another dimension going to a normal girl named Blue and saying, Oh my god, you can do magic? You're an earth person who can do magic? You should totally come to my magic school, girl. You'd be amazing. That is, like, pretty much a direct quote from the first episode. Well, you know, maybe you just had lower standards for it. Legend of Korra had to live up to Avatar, guys. I mean, actually, I think the part of the reason I watched it is because I'm like, no show can be this bad, right? It was so bad it was good, yeah. No, it's not even it was so bad it was good. It's just, like, it was interesting and how freaking just not it was. It was like I had never seen anything like that before. Because it was just so freaking uniquely bad, you know? Nope, not really. And like, I don't know, now that I'm thinking back on it, the fact that it was an anime that went through four kids, it's like a lot of things I noticed were like, they must have changed that from the original. Like, there was a chick who had a dead parent, but then in the comic they're like, oh, she's talking over Skype to her parent. And I'm like, oh yeah, that guy's totally dead. Mm. Like, even in the frick, when I was watching the show, I was like, is she dead? I'm pretty sure she's dead. Why, why is she talking to her like she's not dead? I don't know. So we can see here what I'm doing is I'm zooming in so that way I ink better. This used to be a technique I didn't do because I'm lazy as shit. But now it's a technique I do because I, if I don't, it'll look awful. It always looks awful. But it'll look less awful now. Can't argue with that. I should probably stop complaining about the Wix Club, though. Why well, have not many? I feel like it's a show that if you watch it, you have to like it. No, 
terrible, but it's like no one could possibly like it. It's not even so bad it's terrible. It's just so uniquely terrible that I couldn't stop that I didn't want to stop watching it because I'm like, no, there's got to be something that hap- what is going on? There's got to be something that happens here. Oh yeah, Rick and Morty is dirty and raunchy and absolutely hilarious. I love it. Is it just me or is like, so I've been hearing a lot of people say that like some of the stuff is disgusting or like gruesome and stuff. And I think I have a very high tolerance to violence and blood yeah. and gore and stuff. Because like I've never picked that up once in the entire show. It's like, oh, he uh, rapidly murders everyone? How is that gruesome, like, guys? I mean, there was that one time when I was watching like the Purge episode and it's like the chick brutally murdering everyone in a murder suit and then like Eureka is like, eh, uh, I've kind of lost my perpetually murder and now it's like the point where I was like, I should probably be disturbed by this or something. Yeah, I was not disturbed at all. Like, I think it, I mean, maybe it's just because I'm a millennial or something, but I was just not getting very disturbed at this. How I, does being a millennial stop you from knowing violence? It, it, on the bright, Becca. Mm-hmm. I lived in a household where the mention of sex was considered extremely worse than seeing someone be brutally tortured and murdered. Oh, yeah. We're Americans. This, me, having someone watch their eyes Actually, didn't mom let us watch Lupin, but she didn't let us watch Rugrats? What? Like, we were allowed to watch Lupin, and for those of you who don't know, Lupin is a show about robbers with boobs. I don't remember Lupin. Lu we were allowed to watch Lupin when we were younger, but we weren't allowed to watch, um... We weren't allowed to watch, uh, what's what? its face? Rugrats, Rugrats. Rugrats. yeah. Why weren't we allowed to watch Rugrats? Uh, maybe? Mom said it's because she didn't want to explain to autistic children that, uh, you, you can't say the word dumb babies. Like, yes, yeah, she can call everyone dumb babies, but we can't. I don't think she can call everyone, anyone dumb babies either. No, um, what's her face? Uh, Angelica? Yeah, the one girl in the show. No, I'm pretty sure she can't call everyone dumb babies either. It's just she does. Oh, well, she did it, and she didn't want to... Mom just didn't want to explain that to us, which, you know what, it, it, it's fair. I don't know. I've seen Rugrats since then, and I was just very... There was a lot of stuff I watched as a kid that I should not watch as a kid, and it's kind of weird that she drew the line at Rugrats. So, what did we watch Lupin? We watched Lupin when we were younger. I don't remember Lupin. I didn't even know what you were talking about. Like, when we were really young. I think that was more one of the... Oh, so Mom, has a pro Mom had a problem with The Simpsons, but I think that was more that she thought it was just really unfunny. Yeah, she does not like The Simpsons straight up new. Yeah. I don't know. But, like, Rick and Morty is supposed to be really gruesome and stuff, but it's just like, eh, whatever. I'm gonna go read more fan fictions about the main character being gruesomely tortured and falling in love with Nightcrawler. What are you watching? Oh, my God. Watching? No, I'm reading. What are you reading? Oh, my God. I have a thing for, like... Okay, so the reason I... I, like, really like X-23, but I only like her backstory. It's like, as soon as they talk about her in the modern day, it's like, nope, I don't want to think about you. I don't know. I find I started naming, like, my layers, so that's cool. Sweet. What kind of looks like a heavy metal rocker? We're going to go with blue. Do you think this would be better as a live stream? Probably. Why would it be better as a live stream? I don't know. We could, like, comment with people in live. Nobody watches our videos. Yeah, fair point. Oh, wait a second. I forgot my good friend. The bucket tool. Yep. Yeah. Whoa! I don't know. Maybe we'll do live streams later. But it's like, there's going to be no editing happen once we upload this video, is there? Nope. I don't know how to edit things, I just... I'm supposed to learn that next year. But, what am I supposed to... What was I talking about? 
Oh yeah, well, I didn't find Wrecking Moon to be very gruesome. Yeah. Most people, like, you were supposed to, apparently, first of all, his skin is blue. So we're gonna go and make his skin blue. Oh no, I think it's one of those shows where people find gruesome, but you're not supposed to find, like, bad gruesome. It's supposed to be like, oh wow. Fuck. That is happening. But less like, oh my god, please kill me. You know, like, you're supposed to be, find it gruesome, but not disgusting. We're gonna go and make this black. Oh! I was talking about X-23. Yeah. Anyway, I really like X-23. Backstory! I like her backstory. I'm not very fond of her personhood. I like the whole Hydra thing. I like the whole killing people because of dead mom thing. I like the whole, you know, made into... I really like the whole made into a weapon and forced to kill people storyline. I find it absolutely awesome. Should not, but I do. And, like... So, like, fan fictions are like that, and so, but they only ever do it with OCs, so I'm just stuck reading tons and tons of OC fan fiction because I really like that plot line. You know, that plot line only exists in OCs or things where they're like, oops, Robin is now a female who has a crush on Kid Flash who is still a male because we don't like gay people, because gay people secretly freak about us out, and... Stuff happens. I don't know, Madeline. Can you contribute to this conversation? Because I've been talking about OCs for way too long. I'm sorry. I'm busy fucking drawing. Drawing isn't that hard. Oh, it's not, is it? It's it's really not. Like it's literally only hard if you're doing something good. Which I'm not. So what's this? You are taking thirty minutes to draw a picture, which should take an animator about. One, yeah. One at most. I should draw porn. They get paid a lot, right? Yeah, but they have to draw it well. Also, you should probably, like, also you're going to have to draw people's fetishes, and I think those are probably a lot of fetishes you don't necessarily have. Like, how are you supposed to know what a good foot looks like if you don't have a foot fetish? I feel like my feet look good. Well, yeah. No, I have this weird thing. I really feel like my feet are really pretty. No, but yeah, but like, how am I supposed to know what a good foot looks like if I don't, it's like how I don't know what a good butt looks like. It's, it's just weird. All butts are good. Like, that's. Except for yours and somebody else's and Chris Pratt's, I think. Chris, is Chris, Chris Pratt the one with the nice butt? Everyone like... has a nice butt. I don't know, okay? Just all butts are fantastic. Then why do people... I thought you were supposed to be, like, criminally insecure about your butt at all times. Like, they're supposed to... You're supposed... If you have a small butt, you're supposed to want a big butt. If you have a big butt, you're supposed to want a small butt. I don't know, but I think it's really hard to draw pretty feet if you have no idea what pretty feet look like. Which phone is that? Is that mine? No, no, it's not. Okay, Rick definitely. Oh, that's a. No, I... You weren't looking at this the entire time, were you? No, no, I was not. I was sitting at a different level than you. So I was sitting on the floor, and you were at a desk. So how was I supposed to look at it? I don't know. He looks really depressed. Rick's a depressed person, Madeline. Yeah, but he doesn't look depressed most of the time. He only looks depressed in that one scene that he was going to kill himself. Well, you know what? This is a repeat of that scene. Rick's a depressing person, Madeline! I think that's more because he actively... Like, seriously. Oh, so you know what? It's actually kind of cool. What? I've been hearing theories about what Rick's been arrested for. You know what my favorite one is? What? You know that episode where he literally destroyed an entire dimension and then just popped into a different one? No. No, like the one... Oh, like, yeah, that one. Like the one where he turned everybody into mobs. Rick Potion number nine, where he's like, Oh, Rick! And then, and like, everybody ends up as these humanoid monsters because he tried to fix stuff with stuff. Rick's such a nerd. Yeah, anyway, my favorite current theory about why Rick was arrested is literally, you destroyed an entire dimension, man. Rick! <laughs> 
I notice I use a lot of gray in my backgrounds. Why do you use so much gray? I don't know. Is it just because you like the color? Yes. Why is your favorite color like gray and red and white and black and like silver and... It's like old berry shape. Like 50 different shades of gray, huh? Uh, don't 50 shades of gray. Don't reference badly written porn. Like, you can read all the porn you want, but let's just go with the fact that 50 shades of gray is not that well written. I've written better porn. Just kidding. I don't write porn because penises scare me. I don't want pink. I thought you liked penises. That was a joke. So, I think we're pretty much done. Really? Fuck. Okay. I'm just going to add my signature. And there we are. Is your signature a middle finger? I can't. No, it's not. Oh. I'm actually proud of this one. Yeah. Hold on. I think I'm going to add it in a different place. I like bigger. I'm going to put it in like 0.4 font. Okay. I don't know what that means. Okay. You done? Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.